welcome to my channel. Well, I got something for my Explorer that also got me to fix the Naked Knife, which I think is a Huntsman. Um, I believe it was in the 90s when I got this one. May have been earlier. But it has that twisted corkscrew. And I don't know if you could date them by the Tang stamp. But that's what that is. All right, so what I got was, I saw on eBay, this guy was selling the Victorinox covers, which was, oh, sorry, the thing fell down. Um, the Victorinox covers, which was mainly what I was going to get for this one. But as I was looking through his selection, what he's doing, he's taking them off of new knives. These are real Victorinox uh, scales or covers, whatever you want to call them. And uh, he was including all the stuff. So what I got was the little screwdriver thing that came in the kit. The little pen, which was uh, already pre-existing in this cover here, but it never had a... Mine never had a pen included with it. So what I... And, 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 wait, there's, there's more. A real pen, a real ballpoint pen. Look at that. Is it that special? So now, get in there. I'm trying to do that through the through the lens. What I did was I popped this cover off. I left this one on. I took the one that this one came, and I put it over here. And I took the extra one. Uh, and I slapped over here. Where did that? Oh, oh, that one came off of this one. I popped this cover off and put it on this. Now, this Huntsman, I'm still working on it. I mean, most of the, you can see, there, there is no, no such thing as a snap to this one. All the way down, it's, it's friction tight. But that's much better than what it was because I used to have to use pliers to open this thing up. So it's not, if you know what you're doing, you can, you can open a knife that's got a strong pull with it, like this pen right here, but you've got to be really careful. Whenever I start doing this, I say, all right, if my fingers slipped or, or whatever, which way would it go? See, you can hear that friction fit. A knife like this, if it's that hard to open up, you're going to wind up not wanting to use that, that blade. You know, and I, I didn't want to take it completely apart, but I think what, what happened was the salt or whatever I had in there that caused it in my backpack to freeze this thing up must have uh, corroded the liners or something. It didn't really affect the steel that much. But yeah, these are these are nail breakers. So we won't mess with that right now. I just got covers of that to make it Instead of looking naked. And this extra toothpick I had from the little signature SD. So, yeah. Now, popping the covers off. I didn't watch any YouTube videos, but th the first time I popped uh, the black... This one originally had black covers. First time I popped it off, I cracked them. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was watching other videos, not about... Uh, swapping scale so much but i saw someone using uh the can opener the can opener uh, to to pop the scales off and this is a perfect tool because it's it's wedged you can get it right into a uh, i've seen also people will put them in a, a bowl of water I guess to heat up the plastic and make it more pliable and less brittle. That's probably a good idea. But what I looked for, I, like I said, I didn't replace this cover. So I only messed with this one. The first thing I did was I, I was looking for a, a place to get that in there, you know, and wedge it. And I saw there was a spot here. Also, I, these tools weren't in, so you can get up on this side. And you just find out where the 
the pins are, you know, that it's holding. So I, I was able to pop, you know, just working slow and prying it up. These are pretty easy to replace. They're they're not they're not that difficult. And the set that came with with everything, including the little the little pin that you get, which could come in handy. The little uh, micro screwdriver. You can also get those little fire ants. Those things are expensive. For a little piece of ferro rod here, and this little three D printed probably plastic they're charging i think more than 10 bucks you can get another one that goes this way kind of like counter that you know so it'll fill the whole thing up anyways it's not too bad i think this this covers and everything was like 18 bucks you know ship tax all that other stuff and he had uh, the ebay seller had Different colors, like a translucent green. I was like, ooh, ooh I, was, I like that. But I I looked at the covers when they were on there, and it says it, it looks like a Victorinox cover. So, But they're listed as used parts. But they're not really used because, you know, this is the... There's no scratches and stuff on them or anything like that. And there was even uh, sprues around the... I see, I didn't push that one all the way down. That's all right. I'm not worried about gappage. Like I said, this one, I'm not going to use that much. I just wanted to put the covers back on. It's just something to mess around with if you're sitting there watching TV. The knife blades are the, the most dangerous ones to work, especially the pen blade because it's so small. You can get a little vice grip, clamp it on the blade, and just go back and forth. Eventually, just a bit, and eventually get it up correct but i like the advantage of having a, a ballpoint pen now this one because it's not exactly made for this cover it, it goes in all the way tight but you'd be writing like this but it's possible i mean it's better than nothing so now the only thing that i find missing on this Explorer that I like to have is a saw. I can use all these other tools. I'm, I have no complaints with even this guy. I'll find a use for him. <clears throat> Come here, Peppy. I'll show you something. But, uh, yeah, these it's pretty easy to do this. And basically boost up the versatility. You know, you had a few little accessories, a little pocket clip. And now I've got a little pen in there and a little eyeglass screwdriver. My eyeglasses are super glued together. I don't even fold one temple. Man, I really do need to get new glasses. I think I'm going blind in my right eye. It's it's getting pretty bad, but anywho, we don't want to hear about that. We were here for Victorinox, not a medical condition. Um yeah. So there you go, that's just a simple mod that you can do that doesn't cost a whole lot. And you can change the appearance and the functionality of your um, Victorinox. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.